Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding the number of passengers in each bus part 1. The difficulty level of this question is medium and I am going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called buses with two different columns, bus ID and arrival time. Bus ID is the column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains information about the arrival time of a bus at the lead code station no two buses will arrive at the same time okay we are also given a second table called passengers with two different columns passenger id and arrival time passenger id being the column with unique values for this table each row of this table contains information about the arrival time of a passenger at the lead code station okay buses and passengers arrived at the lead code station if the bus arrives at the station at time t bus and a passenger arrived at time t passenger where t passenger is less than or equal to t bus and the passenger did not catch any bus the passenger will use that bus. we are asked to write a solution to report the number of users that used each bus return the result table ordered by bus id in ascending order okay let's go through this example so here we have three different buses bus id 1 2 and 3 and four different passengers 11 12 13 and 14 okay so the first bus bus id 1 arrived at 2 right let's let's say this at 2 seconds okay so when the bus arrived at the station which of these following passengers the bus is going to find passenger id 11 why because passenger id 11 arrived at one second so since the bus is arriving after that they are going to find okay there is one passenger so this passenger id 11 is going to use bus id 1 and everyone else passenger id 12 13 and 14 are going to arrive at 5 6 and 7 seconds obviously the best bus is not going to wait so the bus will only take one passenger that is passenger id 11 okay now let's look at bus id 2 bus id 2 arrival time is 4 seconds so here if you look at this passenger id 11 already took bus id 1 so when the bus id 2 arrives it will find no one at the station because passenger id 12 13 and 14 are arriving at 5 6 and 7, seven seconds whereas the bus id 2 arrived at 4 seconds so bus id 2 will take zero people now when bus id 3 arrived at 7 seconds it will find passenger id 12 which arrived at 5 seconds passenger id 13 arrived at 6 seconds and passenger id 14 which arrived just as the bus arrived as well so bus id 3 will take all the three passengers 12 13 and 14 and that is what you have in your output that bus id 1 one passenger 2 no one 3 3 people okay so to solve this question what we basically need to do is for every bus id try to find out the arrival times of the previous bus because the question says that you can only use the bus if your passenger did not catch any bus and you arrived at a time less than or equal to the time the bus arrived right so for example here if you look at it passenger id 11 who arrived at one second already caught bus id 1 right so that is why they are not going to wait for or use bus id 2 so we need the arrival times of the previous bus so let's try to do that so from this table called buses let us keep both the columns and then use the lag window function on the arrival time column and basically just one before and since this is a window function we need to write the over clause and there is no partition all we need to do is order by the arrival time in ascending order and just find the arrival time of the previous bus so order by the arrival time in ascending order and let's alias this as previous bus time let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so if you look at this we have the current bus id the arrival time and the previous bus time since there was no bus before bus id 1 so null then bus id 2 arrived at 4 previous bus bus id 1 arrived at 2 seconds and so on once we have this then what we can do is let's save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and now what we are going to do is from this common table expression aliased as let's say c we are going to perform a left join on the passengers table aliased as p and how we are going to perform the join on 
Now, if we look at this, the question says that T of passenger should be less than equal to T of bus and passenger did not catch the bus. Let's worry about the second part of the question afterwards. Let's just focus on T of passenger should be less than equal to T of bus. That means, in other words, you can say that the arrival time of the bus should be greater than or equal to the arrival time of the passenger. So, let's try to do that. So, what we are basically doing is arrival time of the bus so c dot arrival time of the bus because c is the buses table right so, so arrival time should be greater than equal to p dot arrival time and what we are going to do is let's keep all the columns because it is easier for us to understand let me run this okay now if you look at it let me just drag it to the left so that it's easier for us to visualize so now what we have here is for bus ID 1, arrival time 2, there was no bus before them. Passenger ID 11 arrived at 1 second. So, here we can see that passenger ID 11 can use this bus. Okay. Now, bus ID 2 arrived at 4 second. We see that there is a match with the passenger ID 11 who arrived at 1 second. But will this passenger use bus ID 2? No. Why? Because one is less than the previous bus time which means that this passenger id has already used the previous bus that is bus id 1 right so we dealt with one part of the question that when can a passenger use a bus now let's see if the passenger did catch the previous bus or not so what we can do is we need it for every bus id right so let me just drag it down so since we need this for every bus id what we are going to do is group by c dot bus id let us return c dot bus id and now we are going to use the case when statements to count how can we do that is case when right so case when your when can you use the bus if your time of arrival is less than equal to the time of the bus that means case when c dot arrival time is greater than equal to c dot arrival time and right and we also need to make sure that the person did not catch the previous bus so the arrival time of the passenger should be greater than the previous bus time why because if you look at this second row, right? So this second previous bus was at two seconds and the person arrived at one second. So obviously this guy cast the previous bus or used the previous bus. So rows like this should be counted as zero, not one, right? So and P dot arrival time should be greater than not greater than or equal to why because if you are greater than or equal to then you are going to use the previous bus so should be greater than the previous bus time basically the first row will have null in it so since you are making a comparison so you need to firstly substitute the null c dot previous bus time with zero because if it is null basically this is the start of time right so previous bus time and you compare it with the arrival time that means the passenger arrived after the previous bus left that means they are going to use the next bus then you basically assign this value as one else you assign the value as zero end this case statement and if you perform the sum it is going to give you the number of passengers and let's alias this as whatever is required in our output which is passengers count i believe right so let's just write this passengers count let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so even though this says accepted this is not complete yet because the question asks us let me just drag it slightly to the right we need to order this by bus id in ascending order so let us do that so order by c dot bus id okay now let me go ahead and run this again let's see what do we get so yeah this is accepted our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is our rate so yes tricky question what we basically had to do was firstly what we did was we found out the previous bus time because that is important for us to know whether the person catch the previous bus or the current bus 
and then once we had that we made sure that when can a person use a bus based on the condition of the question and we use the case when statements to basically perform a count and ordered by the bus id in ascending order so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video